Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you may notice I am getting ready in a different room. That is because I'm in Lynchburg, Virginia with Jason. We are kicking off the next 10 days of tour, starting in Lynchburg with a band called Vacation Banner. If you guys have been around on my channel for a little bit, you might have seen some past tour vlogs with Vacation Manor, but we're back touring and Jaywaz is gonna be playing with them and the band called Night Traveler for the next 10 days and I am along for the ride. We're gonna be hitting up Boston, New York City, DC, and some other really, really great cities kind of over on the East Coast. And then we're gonna be coming back to Lynchburg. I'm gonna be driving the car back to Nashville and Jason's gonna continue the tour. So super excited to be here. We got in pretty late last night. The sun was already down. So decided to just kick off the vlog today. I have kind of a day to work and bop around while Jason does a rehearsal so I thought maybe we could go to some thrift stores because Lynchburg Virginia has like three thrift stores all within like 10 minutes of each other and they're all so good one of my favorite thrift videos I ever did was here in Lynchburg I also need to finish editing a video and do some work while Jason is rehearsing but he's kind of gone all day so I thought we could kick off the vlog just us and then pick back up with Jaywaz when he gets done and then yeah I'm gonna be taking you guys on this tour with us it's a van tour so it's very indie and it is super fun I've done this before with the guys and we always have a ton of fun just kind of living the band life so it's really cool because I got to finish up like all of my work pretty much before I left some new stuff has come in over the last day while we were driving that I need to do when I'm back in Nashville. But for the most part, I pre-filmed some stuff, shot some stuff for brands for jobs. And so I'm excited to just kind of take the next 10 days as a little bit of a vacation, but also just some time to spend with Jason. And we're just trying to really appreciate this season of life. Pretty kids, even though we have the house and we've actually got some friends house sitting for us and taking care of Riley and the Koi and all of that. But we're just trying to like enjoy this season of life where we don't have any kids. Our responsibilities are minimum. I am really, really excited. I'm putting on makeup right now because we're about to walk to the little coffee shop here in Lynchburg, Golf Park. We spend so much time at this specific coffee shop whenever we visit because it's so cute. And then we're gonna try to shoot some Madewell photos here for a campaign just because I do actually have to do some work while I'm here, but it actually works out perfect because I was gonna bring all my Madewell stuff anyway. That is the update. I'm gonna finish getting ready here and I'll pick back up with y'all on our way to the coffee shop. Okay, this is my outfit. Jaywaz, do you wanna give them the full preview? All right, so I've got on this new little Madewell quilt bag, which will be in my Madewell haul. I think that already went live as far as I know. Actually, just kidding. I don't think it has yet. <laughs> then I've got on this like Madewell cardigan almost like duster which is amazing this color is so pretty this is a new little madewell sweater madewell perfect jean i already had these and then these are some madewell sneakers and we're off to grab some coffee and shoot this first look Wired. We both got drips because we're gonna go back to the house now. I'm gonna change outfits. We're trying to beat the rain, it's sprinkling a little bit, but we just wanted to like knock it out before the trip. And then we're gonna go grab bagel sandwiches. Okay, outfit number two. Really, really cute sweater, guys. This house is like the most well decorated, like thrifty house I've ever seen. You guys know I love like a mod vibe, but this is so cozy and look at this room so we're actually going to shoot this outfit in this little plant room i mean look at all of these oh it's so pretty i love this i have one of these but the leaves aren't variegated like that i love variegated it's so cool 
Okay, I am alone now. Jay Waz and I just went to the bagel place and then he got a text from Nathan, the lead singer of the band, and they need to like run some errands before they rehearse today. So I ended up taking the car and he jumped in the van with Nathan and I'm outside of Goodwill now with my bagel sandwich because it was like a super last minute change of plans. But that's kind of how it goes when you are on the road with people, you just kind of adapt and go with the flow. So honestly, the next like nine days are gonna just be me bopping around, honestly, probably by myself because Jason's gonna have to do sound checks and stuff in each city because he's playing with both bands. So he's gonna be so busy this tour. So it's gonna be a lot of just you and me hanging out, hopefully getting out into the cities, probably picking up some coffee for Jaywaz and the guys, but look at this. So this is, this was called the herbivore sandwich. I got on an everything bagel with chive cream cheese. Doesn't that look so good? So I'm gonna eat my bagel sandwich before I go into Goodwill. I thought it was gonna be a lot busier. Well, I guess it's only 10 a.m. For some reason it feels so much later than 10 a.m., but it's only 10 a.m. We already shot the Madewell stuff and I thought it'd be fun to do some thrifting today. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich in the car here. Look at that. Oh, that looks so yummy. It's so bright. You probably can't even see it, but oh. Delicious. Wow. Mm, very messy. just got inside and this is the same thrift store that I did a video with my friend Haley at and we got some amazing sweaters and stuff around I guess it was maybe September so it might be picked over by now but I thought I would at least try. They have really really good vintage here. pieces so many good things here it is honestly crazy how many like cool pieces this goodwill has it makes national thrifting look horrible like you can find so much stuff here i feel like i've gotten a little bit frustrated at national thrifting because it's gotten really expensive and then also just like everything is like so picked over these days but that's why I love like thrifting whenever we come to Lynchburg, Virginia because there's always so much stuff here. Like I already found a ton of stuff. So I have a feeling I'm gonna have to leave some stuff here because I can't take it all. It's got a little house on it. That's so cute. Guys, look at this coat. Vintage silk lined. It's not my size, unfortunately, but I'm serious. These Virginia thrift stores are insane. Okay, so I'm gonna pop over to another Goodwill, but I wanted to show you the stuff that I'm not getting and then I'll show you everything when I get back to the house. First piece is this vintage sweater. I thought this was really, really cool, but I don't like the leopard print in it. I like everything else. I kind of wish there wasn't like any animal prints like the zebra or the leopard print, but I really liked kind of the stripey multi-pattern sweater. I got some better pieces though. The other piece that I'm not getting is this mock neck. I really liked it because it's super soft, but I don't think it's going to fit super well though, and it's really long, so I'm going to pass on that. And then the other piece that I'm not getting is this kind of patterned top. I liked it just because it has this zipper in the front, but I feel like I could find something better at some different Goodwills. I just got to the next Goodwill. It's so easy to pop around 
all of the Goodwills here because they're all within like 15 minutes of each other. So I'm at my second Goodwill and I ended up taking another lap around the store after I showed you guys what I wasn't getting and I found some amazing pieces for Jason. He's gonna love them. And then I also grabbed some like home stuff. So I'm so excited. I wanna show you guys everything, but I'm gonna just run into this one really quick. I don't know if I'll film a ton. I just wanted to see if there was anything else as far as like homeware goes because I found some really cool glasses. The best vintage ever, Virginia. It's not even hard to thrift here, guys. This wouldn't fit, but it is a jumpsuit. That is so fun. It's just Banana Republic, but that is so cool. And then like, look at this. This is another jumpsuit or is this a dress? <gasps> okay, I don't think this would fit me. But are you kidding me? That is so stunning. I wish it was my size. Again, not my size, but this vintage camel coat oh my gosh guys what look at this coat i love the color of it i just got done and i'm not even kidding you you guys best thrift haul i've done in a very very long time so many vintage sweaters i got some really good stuff for jaywas i have an entire haul of glassware that i got some really pretty smoked glasses and then also some stuff for our bar and some like little trinket glasses as well so i'm gonna go home and show you guys everything that i got i'm serious this is like the best thrifting experience i've had in a really long time in nashville it's so hit or miss these days i maybe leave with like a few pieces but every time i've come to virginia best thrifting ever okay so i just got home and home this isn't my home I just got back to the house that we're staying at and I thought this would be like the perfect place to film my haul and try on for you guys. I warmed up my coffee in the microwave and I'm just like loving this room. I think it's so cozy and adorable. I personally feel like with our home, it's like very clean and we don't really want like a lot of stuff everywhere, but I've been really enjoying staying here just the last day just because it's so like homey and there's just like stuff everywhere but it's like very well curated so i really like that we're gonna go ahead and get into it i think i'm gonna start with all of my home goods that i picked up and then i'll get to the clothing i got a lot of home stuff and i also got a lot of clothing so we have a lot to go through okay so the first thing that i got is this pot because I've actually been needing some larger pots for our plants back home and a lot of the pots that I have are smaller and my plants are getting too big for the pots so I needed something a little bit bigger and this was at Goodwill. I got this for three dollars and it's this beautiful kind of brown gray. It has the base which is what I really like because I typically like to have something that drains or overwater my plants and they die so i'm really excited about this i got lots and lots of things that have been wrapped so the first thing which i'll just show you one of them i got four of these glasses each one was two dollars because the glasses that we got on our registry we didn't actually get a full set of them like we got some of the small ones but we didn't get any of the larger cups from our registry and so we ended up just kind of panic buying like a super generic plain cup from i think maybe wayfair or something or Maybe it was Bed Bath & Beyond, but we got like a super generic glass, but I've been really liking kind of these more detailed cups, I think are super pretty. So I got four of these and then I got this little bowl because I thought this would be really cute for a small plant. I got this for $2 and it's this beautiful like bright terracotta. I got this pink dish that I thought was so cute. You could put like candy in it or use it as like a snack bowl or like a little catch all for jewelry. I just love the pink glass. And then the other thing that I got is this tray. It honestly looks like the base of a butter dish, but I think it is just like a catch all tray. I thought this would be perfect for like jewelry or you could put a candle on it and just have it sitting on like a coffee table. I got this little jar as well that I thought would be pretty as like a snack jar 
or I could use it to put like little spoons in on our wet bar in the living room. And then I got this really cute pink glass dish, which I just think is so pretty. I got this for $3 and I just absolutely love the pink glass. Like I said, sorry, Jason's texting me. But I thought this was like really cute setting the glass in the little tray. And then from the first store, the home items that I got, I think she might have just set them in here. So the first thing are some more glasses. And I thought these would be really cool on the wet bar or just in our cupboards, but I got four of these kind of smoked glass glasses. These are so popular. I've seen so many resellers selling these for like 40 bucks for four of them and I got them I think like 99 cents each and then I got four of these little dishes that I posted on my Instagram stories but if you don't follow me on there I grabbed four of these really pretty glasses and these ones were a dollar each as well but I thought these were so cute for snacks, almonds, you could put like salsa in it or something. And they're just really, really pretty. So they have like the most stunning pattern on them. And I think that is all of the home stuff that I got. So we can get into the clothes now. So the first thing that I got is this sweater. This is a J. Crew sweater, super textured, really, really pretty. Okay, so this is the first piece and it is like the perfect like little sleep shirt. I also could wear it out. I feel like it's so cute. It's got three snaps here in the front, but I kind of like it wearing it with sweats or leggings and kind of just wearing it at home. I'm so happy about it. It's such a good knit, like a really good quality piece. And this is just what the front looks like. So you guys can see the sleeves aren't like tight or anything, so. Really, really cute. The next thing that I got is this button down and I just adore this pattern. It's so cool. It's just a striped button down, but something about it just felt very expensive to me. So I'm really excited to like style this up. I love a good button down. You already know that. This is the next piece and I am so obsessed with this. I love the pattern of this. It's so cute when it's tucked in and then the sleeves are rolled. I think it's really cute. And you guys can see kind of up close, this pattern is so, so pretty. It's so silky too. Like this material is really, really nice. Next, I got a kind of like button down jacket. It's not really a flannel style but it's from Talbot's and it's black and it's kind of almost like a suede but I thought this would be really cool unbuttoned and wearing it over like a top or a turtleneck or something like that okay so this is the kind of like jacket style top I like it over something more fitted because it feels kind of like more of like a jacket I love the length I think the material is amazing. I think this with like a black boot would be so cute. You guys can see the fabric is kind of like a suede. You could also like wear it buttoned up, but I just think it's so cute unbuttoned as like a very casual throw on piece. The next thing I got is actually for Jason. I found this insane sweater. Why does he get the best sweaters? So this is a vintage piece and it's like the most stunning material look at that like oh it's such a good sweater he's gonna be so excited that i grabbed him that because he's rehearsing all day today he's been wanting some new clothes and he loves like thrifted pieces so then the next thing that i got is another shirt for jwaz this is a button down i don't know if this is vintage i think it is actually but it's this wool button down it's this kind of charcoal brown it's really really nice he's gonna love this like this is literally his style he loves these types of like button down cozy shirts and then the last thing i got from the first store as far as clothes go are these shoes i literally saw these and i was like 
no way they're not gonna be my size and they were i was so excited they're so cute i feel like a pair of these new would be like 150 bucks they're so pretty it's a full loafer with a back to it and the fact that they're my size is like truly unreal so i'm so excited for these you guys know i love a good woven shoe so those are all the things from my first bag second place that i went i got one more shirt for jay was this one is another i don't think this one is vintage actually but it's kind of the same vibe it's like a dark green henley tee super super cozy he's gonna love that and then for me i got a few pieces as well this one had such good vintage so this is a vintage sweater and it has a zipper in the back like that and it's full wool so it's probably be itchy so i need to wear some sort of like turtleneck underneath it but look at this it has argyle suede stitched into the knit how cool is that like that is something that you will only find vintage and i just am obsessed with this i think this is so so cool and it's very very different than anything that i have okay so this is the sweater and it is seriously insane i cannot believe i found this i've just got it tucked in in the front but you can tuck it kind of all the way around this thing is like such a powerful vibe look at this texture and the pattern it's so good i cannot get over like all of this detail on it so unique you cannot find this literally anywhere else other than thrifting i love the neck on it and with the free people like tank bra that i have on it's really not that itchy so i'm super excited i feel like i could actually wear this it does smell kind of bad so i'm probably gonna wash it before i wear it the next thing that i got is another little vintage sweater i thought this would be so cute worn open as a cardigan or you could wear it obviously as like a top but it is this super cute little suede sweater and it has a suede patch on the elbow which is just so stinking cute another really great piece i can't believe i found these honestly when i saw these i was like shocked okay so i would definitely wear like a proper shirt underneath this but i really like it as a cardigan just like over a pair of jeans i think this is so cute you can wear it with the loafers that i found look at the amazing detail on this oh suede is so good oh i feel like i'm definitely gonna get some wear out of this this fall like all of the textures the last piece that i got is this green jacket which you guys saw me try on in the store and i just could not pass this up because the color is so perfect I thought the collar was really pretty the big buttons and then i love the inside it's like super silky but really really good condition coat like it looks like it was only worn a single season and i just thought this was such a good find so you guys saw me try this one on in the store but it is so amazing i'm so glad i didn't leave without this this is the most stunning coat ever i love that it's lined it's so nice and the color is just fantastic i can't believe it was in my size too i feel like i got really really lucky with like all of the sweaters and the coats and stuff that i found isn't this like the most beautiful color green believe it or not guys it is the same day i ended up taking a shower because i wanted to wash my hair before we hit the road tomorrow and i ended up showering i've been editing my fall lookbook the last hour or so and jason's gonna be rehearsing pretty late tonight i don't think we're gonna eat dinner until like eight o'clock which i know y'all are gonna be like i eat dinner at eight o'clock but jason and i always eat dinner at like 5 p.m i don't know we just eat dinner so early so i'm actually gonna go to kroger and pick up some snacks that we can have in the van and then also maybe just grab a snack for today because i want to be able to eat dinner tonight we're gonna go to this place called rp which is like literally a it's not a dive bar but it's definitely like you can get drinks and then also they have spinach artichoke dip pizza nachos like that kind of vibe so i want to definitely be able to eat tonight i don't know why i just walked into that room this house is like the cutest place ever 
Is this not adorable? I also kind of am into the glasses vibes lately. I have been having some trouble with my contacts. I'm going to the eye doctor when I get back in town, but they've been really, really dry lately and I don't normally have dry eyes, but within the last three or four months, I've noticed that my eyes have been getting so dry. And so I've been wearing glasses a lot more. I take up my contacts after about four to six hours. That's like as long as I can have them in now. And I forgot that I had these glasses. I found them in like the very back of my bedside table. And I was like, why don't I wear those? I forgot about those. So these are from Warby Parker. And I think they're so cute. They're like this pink frame. And I'm wearing a Madewell cardigan, a Free People tank bra, my airy leggings, and then my knee solo boots that I just got. And I'm feeling very cozy for fall. I wanna show you guys like this full look cause I'm actually kind of into it even though it's super, super casual. Okay, just so you guys can see, hopefully it's not too dark. I'm obsessed with these boots. These are Mi Solo and they're so stinking cute. They're a Chelsea boot, so you can just slip them on. And I love the way that they look with denim, but they also look so good with leggings. So I've got on my airy leggings that I love and then my little free people tank bra that I wear literally all the time. And then to cozy it up, I've got on this new cardigan from Madewell. I post about this on my stories and I hope some of y'all grabbed it because it is truly one of my favorite pieces, like favorite cardigans that I've seen in a while. I feel like some cardigans aren't thick enough, they aren't long enough, or they aren't like cozy enough. And this is like truly such a thick cardigan. I love it so much but this is what I'm gonna wear to the grocery store. And I think it kind of works with the glasses. It's like cute casual. Okay, I just got done and I got two bags of Skinny Pop, some mini Cliff Bars, Annie's Cheddar Bunnies and Annie's Bunny Grahams chocolate chip. I've never gotten the Bunny Grahams before. I got j some almonds. I got some dried apples. And then I also got these Kind Healthy Grains peanut butter dark chocolate chewy with a crunch. I'm a big like chewy granola bar gal. j likes a crunchy bar. I like them when they're chewy. I like the Cliff Bars because they're chewy. So I thought I would try those, but a pretty good snack haul. Now back to the editing. It's the next morning, we're packing the van. Rowan is being a little chunk. <laughs> You're so happy at seven in the morning. It's seven a.m. Such a puppy. Hi, Chunky. So uh, soft. You're so soft. You How don't do let you anybody sit? touch you. Do you sit? Oh, good boy. Good boy. I don't have a treat. Right, they're loading the trailer, but this is the van. This is Jay Waz's row. This is my row. <laughs> we'll have someone in this row, someone in the passenger seat, and then someone in the driver seat. This one's really nice because we each get our own row, which in the past yeah, we've all had to like share and stuff. So already <laughs> we're doing good. Van life. Van life. Hands up for my blondes. Oh, yeah. Blonde baby. back here. Where my blonde's at? Mm, you take that one. Oh, I take it? Yeah. Okay. First meal, kava. That feels like a win. Feels like a good meal, because normally it's Chick-fil-A three meals a day. So anytime we can get something that's not chicken, it's a good time.
just got to Philly and I've been out here by the trailer making sure nothing gets stolen. I'm gonna load it out. All right, we made it to our venue. Nathan's writing out his set list. And I just set up the merch because they needed some help, so. Ta-da! Normally we have like an actual table. I'm gonna get you those hangers. <laughs> We're gonna actually hang the shirts along this right here. But for now, it's just kind of sitting on the table. We have definitely enough time though. I might run to the coffee shop, like a four minute walk, but it is raining right now, so I'm gonna have to hustle. Wow. How's it feel to be back on the road? Grimy. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. I forgot. These clubs are just like, you don't, stickers on the toilets. You don't want to touch anything. You don't want to go to the bathroom here, so that's why I'm going to go to that coffee shop so I can go to the bathroom. Yeah, it, does, it feels good. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool being back together with the guys from the last tour and brings me back to my old merch days, doing merch for Toby Mac on the road. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you were around in those days. <laughs> You're the real ones. Stopped raining a little bit, so I'm making my way to the shop right now. I think I'm going in the right direction. I honestly have no idea. This is a very cool part of town. <gasps> no way. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, I want to pop in here. So cool. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at this chair. I love this place. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The mirror on this. Oh, I love this. So pretty. up the merch. We're rocking and rolling now. As you guys just saw, did the show. Oh my gosh, it was so cool seeing Jay Waz get to do what he loves again. That was really, really sweet. So now I'm out here by the van again, waiting for the guys to load out because someone has to stand by all the stuff. I ended up selling merch today and it took me back to my merch days when I did stuff with Toby Mac. I kind of liked it, honestly. It felt like very exhilarating, like selling merch again. I also met a subscriber tonight, which is literally crazy. Her name is Taylor and she was super, super sweet and that just like, oh, like literally made my world. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing life on the road and thrifting with me and just hanging out. I am having so much fun out here. I really was a little bit nervous, like joining in for this long, but I'm so far loving it. It's only day one, so we'll see what happens in the next vlogs. But if you like these videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos. I'd love to have you guys back on my channel and be sure to catch up on the next tour vlog. Bye y'all.